Today is Sunday and I'm going to do a little Sunday reset. I need it, the apartment needs it, and I have not done one of these on my vlogs in a while, I don't think. So if you're looking for a little cleaning motivation or getting your life together motivation, this is the vlog because that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I think that the clocks changed last night, so that's why we slept in, right? Yeah. The clocks changed last night, so we woke up so late and I was like immediately stressed out because I feel like I have a lot of stuff to do today. That's like the worst feeling when you wake up in the morning and you already feel like you're behind on things. Like it puts me into immediate, immediate, like not panic mode, but like, okay, I gotta go, go, go. <laughs> That's not how I wanna feel on a Sunday. So I made a coffee, it'll give me some energy. Yeah, I have little tiny puffy eyes today because I was doing a little crying yesterday. <laughs> I did the um, uh, Pen Mass Challenge winter cycle event yesterday. It's a campaign affiliated with the Pen Mass Challenge, like big actual race. Uh, and it's a bunch of spin classes held at Fenway. And there was like a hundred something people per class. It was, they were massive and there was classes all day. And everyone that was in each class was raising a minimum of I think $500 for it. So I did that with my friend Matt and my friend Annie. And it was so, it was so amazing. I cry over like anything sweet and wholesome. Like show me a video on TikTok of an old man, I will be crying. Of a grandpa, grandma, someone getting married, someone coming home from war, like literally, I cry at everything. So of course I teared up so many times during this event yesterday because it was just like so beautiful seeing so many people come together and show up for something that like actually means something. I don't know, it just like put me in the best mood and there was a little girl who was 10 who was a cancer survivor so of course I like teared up during that it was just like a very like positively emotional kind of afternoon anyway but I am still fundraising for that if I'll put the, my fundraising page in my bio if anyone does want to donate truly every dollar this is not what this vlog is about but it's important so I figured I would mention it um 100% of your donation goes toward Dana-Farber Cancer Research and Treatments and literally every single dollar counts. So if you want to donate a dollar or five dollars, whatever, if you have the means to and you want to, I'll put it below. Um, but yeah, happy Sunday. One of my best friends, Caroline, also moved this morning to Austin and I have not been doing very well with it because friends moving away when you're in your 20s is like the weirdest feeling ever because in your 20s it kind of feels like you have like solid friends and it doesn't really feel like things change much like whereas like high school college friends things change so much after those chapters so it's normal to lose friends or have them move away but in your late 20s it hits a little bit different so my eyes are puffy I had a very lazy end of yesterday because if I'm sad about anything I lose all sense of motivation so this morning is today in general is very much needed to be a reset day and be a positive day. We're getting things back together. We're cleaning. <laughs> this is the longest intro ever, but welcome back to my channel. I think I'm going to go start by stripping the sheets. There's so much laundry to do today. And I usually start, I usually, usually start <laughs> like truly piles and piles and piles of it. And I usually start with the bedding. So I'm gonna go start doing that. And we're gonna have a productive day. I just made this latte with, um, I think the double espresso dolce. Pod from Nespresso, milk, vanilla almond milk, and the nut pods, almond coconut creamer in the vanilla flavor.
through my closet. I can't tell if it's better to have it dark in here or have this. Because this light is quite literally orange. It's heinous. I need to switch the bulb. I keep forgetting. I've been thinking about it since we moved in, in June. <laughs> but it's so, it's such terrible lighting. I kind of want to put a mirror behind this wall, behind this door, there's just a blank wall. I kind of want to put a mirror there and change that bulb. But anyway, it's almost spring. Every single year around this time of the year, I go through my clothes and pull out items that I have not worn in months and months and months, probably since last year when I did this. And I donate them either to friends or friends of friends, or I just bring them to a donation place in Boston. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna pull everything out and see what I wanna keep. to it. I have such a sweet tooth and 
I'm never gonna be someone that's like cut out added sugar, like, never eat it at all because that is just, that will just take the joy away from me. <laughs> I don't want that. So I'm just trying to lower my added sugar intake so that I'm not like so addicted to it. So, and then a 30 minute workout at least each day. And I haven't done any of those things today. So <laughs> we're being proactive in other ways, but I will get to that stuff later, but I do need to start drinking water. Toasty. A little too toasted for my liking, but whatever. Starting with this. Some spinach, some tomato, cucumber. I could eat this with a fork, and I do sometimes. I'm going to take a little break from cleaning and eat this and do some journaling while I eat it. Honestly, I love cleaning. I find it just so therapeutic. Um, so John and I like usually do most of it together, but I prefer to do like the wiping down of the surfaces, the vacuuming, and he does like the trash and the toilets. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip that stuff because once he's finished with work, Stuff. Okay, this is the ugliest messy bun ever. I'm sweating, truly. Why is it that when you want to do a cute bun, it looks awful, and then when you just throw your hair up to clean or do your skincare or whatever, it looks so much better than when you try. I'm gonna take everything off this counter, wipe it down, wipe the mirror down. probably expired so I need to go through all of this and figure out what I can get rid of. John got me these, John made this little bouquet, I should say, for International Women's Day. How cute. Feels like a field of wildflowers is what I'm envisioning when I see this. It's so adorable. I'm gonna head to the gym for a little bit, get a little workout in, go on a long walk, and then finish anything I might have to do later. I think I've pretty much cleaned everything I wanted to clean today. So I'm feeling pretty productive, but I definitely need to get outside. So a walk and a workout is much needed. I got this jacket, I think a couple weeks ago from Lululemon. I was not expecting to buy anything when I walked in there. But I loved this, it's the cropped align. It's so cute. Let's go. We ordered some 
takeout because I have no desire to cook on Sundays. And I always want takeout on Sundays. We got Lola burger. John got a regular burger with bacon. This patty is massive. I get their vegan burger. I think it's an impossible patty. We're gonna eat our dinner, maybe watch some Netflix, and then I need to shower. It's 10.30 right now, and I am not tired at all. I'm like a little tired, but I hate changing the clocks and feeling like I'm not in my like normal sleep routine, which is so weird because I often wake up like an hour earlier or later than usual and don't feel any different. But something about changing clocks, like that one hour in this specific scenario really affects me. I just did a face mask. This is the Innisfree Super Volcanic Pore Clay Mask. I love this. I love it. I do it every single Sunday. Every Sunday reset has to end with a self-care night, for me at least. I want my second bottle of this, but this is the Skin Laundry Clean Slate Cleanser, so I just used this. I double cleansed and used this cleansing oil before. It's the Josie Moran Argan Cleansing Oil. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I don't dislike it, but I usually use the Elemis Cleansing Balm and it's just a totally different texture than this. So I think I'm just not used to this, but I ran out of the cleansing balm. So I figured I would try something new. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Oh my gosh. I can't remember if I've told you guys about this. This is one of my favorite things ever lately. I just got a second one because I used the first one. I think I got it for Christmas. So it did last a couple months. Um, it's one of the massage bars from Lush. I think this one is called, I think this is their coconut drench scent. It does not smell like a tropical coconut by any means. This smells like coconut coffee, a rich, decadent, luxurious, like, oh my gosh. Do you know what I mean? I hope I'm, I hope I'm helping you smell it through the screen. <laughs> it is heavenly. It's like a solid moisturizer and it melts with the heat of your skin. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it is incredible. John got me one of these for Christmas and I was immediately hooked. The second it was gone, I bought another one because I love it so much. I use it right after the shower when my skin's like still a little warm. I'm gonna leave this mask on for like 15 minutes and then rinse it off and get into bed and read for a bit and then hopefully fall asleep quickly because it's almost 11. Usually I try to be in bed and like off my phone around 10 to wake up around six, but that is obviously not happening tonight because I'm like wired right now, <laughs> but I'm gonna hopefully try to get tired soon. Usually reading does that to me. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.